it's definitely an aspect that benefits greatly from um <clears throat> what's the word it's an aspect that def that uh benefits greatly from getting the charged skewer not charged skewer but the exploding launcher exploding launcher that hammer All right, uh, I don't want any of this. What I want is a heartbreak strike. There we go. All right, what we want is heartbreak strike and sweet surrender. Some of these are just gonna be straight up uh, one shots, that's okay. Yeah, she's a little sneaky, isn't she? Uh, I don't really want any of these, so I think we're gonna burn another dice. Uh, any money you find is worth more. Oh, uh, well, let's go addled favor. All we gotta do is avoid casting, and then we'll just get better boons. And uh, we pick up so many boons. It's honestly so chill. Yeah, so like the ideal hammers for this spear are going to be <clears throat> uh, exploding launcher and quick spin. That's what I think, anyways. Of course, this is a roguelike. We have very little influence over what we actually get. I mean, shit, I had to burn. I've burned four dice so far just to even like. Try to get the two things I have right now. Uh, so there's a shop and there is a darkness. Let's go into the shop. We have a little bit of extra money right now. Uh, we can peek around here. There's a Poseidon there. Let's buy Hermes. Greatest reflex. All right, let's burn one more dice. We've been we've been just churning through our dice right now. And it turns out to uh, not really help us. We'll just go greater evasion, I guess. We didn't, we haven't really gotten anything good. We've got a Poseidon, Epic Tempest Flourish, that is exactly what we wanted. If we do get lucky and get that uh, Exploding Launcher, this is going to be the ideal pick for us. So we're just going to play as if we're going to do it, which, <laughs> which as I'm sure you all know, is oh, it always turns out well when you just assume everything will go your way. Alright, we'll go for another... Poseidon boon and what's in this room we got a bunch of numbskulls and their little uh, hidey holes they're not their little piles pretty easy room everyone's real frail in there sweet nectar any palms of power you find are more potent that we got that really early 
That's good. That's good. Um, that duo boon is usually pretty underwhelming because it's it's usually kind of hard to get duo boons until pretty late in the run. Um, and so then by then, a boon like that, which is based around growth, feels a little useless. That's a cute little 50 health right there. Let's go for the key to replenish all the dice we've spent already. Like, geez, we're still in Tartarus and we spent six? That's insane. Uh, so we've got some armored wretches. Probably the least threatening armored enemy in the entire game. They're so slow, it really does not matter. He didn't, he got out like one and a half attacks, like he got halfway through his second attack animation by the time we broke his armor and were able to just stun lock him. I don't even know if that was a proper stun lock, but guess what? It doesn't matter because he's dead. Alright, grab those keys, go grab some nectars next. What's in this room? We got a bunch of the brimstones, I believe they're called. Uh-huh. Is it just going to be another wave of them? Okay, there's a little, there's a couple of those, uh, what are they even called? Pests? Little pot, little pot guys? Little bomb pots? Now a bunch of numbskulls. Mostly frail enemies in this room, kind of just, uh, spinning. They all kind of just melt away. And here's our first hammer, okay. Tartarus hammers are always nice to see. This one's a nice freebie. Um, okay, so, um, massive spin can also be good. Massive spin can be good. Gives you even more range on the Hades spear spin attack. <laughs> Dang, are you seeing the range on this? Wow. Hades Spear plus Massive Spin. <laughs> the full charge just covers the entire screen. It's disgusting. Ah. Alright, got her. Furies vanquished. Furies? I mean, she did have Electo in, in the back. Supporting her. Okay, another Hermes boon. Ideally, we get uh, something like Hyper Sprint here. Okay, we got a Chaos Gate and a Fishing Spot in here. Where are you? Okay. Nobody's, nobody's armored. Everyone's kind of just uh, getting stun locked right now. Okay, hyper sprint. Let's go. I know you're out there, fish. We're probably gonna just hop into that chaos gate without even looking. 
because I am starting to, eh, no, we got a pretty lax deadline, so we can, we can at least check what the next room's going to be. Alright, crustacean, very nice, very nice. Okay, we gotta go for Eurydice. Sorry, sorry, Chaos, sorry, Chaos, but we can't say no. We can't say no to Eurydice. We especially can't say no to a story room that pauses the timer. Um, we can upgrade the rarity. Yeah, we'll upgrade the rarity. Greater evasion and heartbreak strike. Very good, very good. Going into a centaur heart room. Who we got? Okay, armored inferno bombers. That trap took care of the first one. Oh, and those little, uh, not Hydra, Hydra guys. These little tiny snake boys. Okay, we got Zeus, we got Poseidon, we'll go for Poseidon, that's the one we took the keepsake for. It's gonna be a mini boss, oh, it's gonna be the Witch's Circle. This one is always so awkward. I can never figure out where to stand to get a good uh, mega attack off on them. I feel like I do a bit too much spinning. We'll take this epic razor shoals though. This build's gonna really come together if we can get that late uh, exploding launcher. Unfortunately, we won't get we don't even get a chance for another hammer until we make it to Elysium. Okay, nice dodge. Real lucky for us. Some armored numbskulls. Mash, mash, mash on them. What's in here? 150 gold? We'll go. Oh, shit. We'll go for that. Who's up? Who's up? I think what you're typically supposed to do with these, like I think you're supposed to like initiate with a big spin and then go on the offensive. Well, I mean, you're going on the offensive either way, but I kind of just dash around them just doing normal attacks because your spin attacks don't get boosted by the, uh, the punished, the little punisher logo. <laughs> Punishing logo. Um, we'll take the heart. We won't take Ares. We'll very cutely ignore that. What's the matter, Lerny? You seem quite upset. It only boosts your normal attack and your special. Well, I guess also your dash strike too. That kind of counts for your normal attack. So with Exploding Launcher, we'd be able to pump out specials much faster and pretty easily cancel them into each other. Like cancel the attack into the special, into the attack into the special. And that would be awesome for us. 
However, oh. <clears throat> Man, everyone is throwing these projectiles. Last stage. All right, mid air kill. Let's just take a cute little. Oh wait, uh, let's let's check the cauldron. Nah, nothing cool. Take a coin purse. Yeah. Uh, so what are we what are we hoping for? We need something on the dash. Ideally, ideally Athena. I think an Athena dash would go wonderfully. All right, here's our second hammer. Uh, the quality of this run is really going to be riding on the, the result of this room. Okay, here's our hammer, and, oh, we get nothing, we get nothing, nothing good, huh? Damn. That's really unfortunate. I guess we'll go flaring spin, so at least we'll have a little bit of safety from, uh, in charging it. Trying to catch a fish two bumps three bumps four bumps perfect catch sea mare let's go all right we'll go for this pomegranate i guess really nothing that we uh went for this run really worked out I mean, we're not exactly, like, losing or anything, but... I mean, heck, we're actually killing things kind of quickly. <laughs> uh, let's step into the shop, actually. Okay, we can go with Dionysus. Positive outlook. Okay, that's good. Pomegranate. We can boost up our heartbreak strike even more. And then there's another Dionysus room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Strong drink. A little bit late to the party for that. We'll take after party instead. We're not gonna get that many. We're not gonna get that many extra. Alright, we got a lot. 
lot of sword boys trying to dash around us. It's I'm kind of struggling to figure out what my uh like what my game plan is supposed to be. Like I know I got to charge up these big spin attacks, but afterwards, I don't really know. I feel, I feel a little awkward. Let's go ahead and give him a nectar. Skill issue? I'd say you earned it more than anybody else I've seen around here lately. Though I don't make the rules. You say, isn't that the Luthi right nearby? You've been through so much, don't you ever? You could just drink deeply of the river of forgetfulness and be done with now. That is the most horrific thing you've ever said, Zagreus. What the hell? Yes. And I have taken sips from time to time. But I've some memories I'm not quite ready to give up on. All right, we are pretty much max out on health, so we'll take Cyclops Jerky. It's going to that's going to even further boost our spin attacks damage. All right, Armored Shield Boys. These have always been some of my least favorite rooms. At least least favorite enemy encounters, more like Armored Shield Boys. Yuck. Because at least, look, I don't like the normal shield boys, but at least with the, when they're unarmored, all you need to do is get behind them once and then you can just stun lock them to death. Okay, now we're, they're starting to be replaced with some sword, with a sword boy. Eh, well, only one sword boy. Gotta kill the shield. Well, the, the, the doom, the void stone, that's what it's called, the void stone, the big blue rock. Don't let that protect them. Keep around him, and at this point, it is done. We get another pomegranate. We've, we were getting so many pomegranates, um, but not a whole lot of actual boons to spend them on. So we're getting pretty diminishing. Oh, Athena, okay. All right, can we get a divine dash? For you, my cousin Zagreus, I wish to offer the most potent um okay they're you're offering a phalanx shot what else we got we kind of want to divine it there we go divine dash that's what we want Rematch. please fight with me again Asterius. i mean just like before you must forgive me my indecencies of late this blasted fiend his lies and treachery get right under my skin or the phantasmagorical equivalent Phantasmagorical? What are you saying? What are you saying, Phantasmagorical? Swear something to me, King. That you'll discard your fears about her bond. The short one here is never going to break it. He doesn't even understand it. The only one who can break it is you yourself. Ooh, he's spin. Oh, my dear friend, Asterius. I see, of course, you're right. You're right. You're right. I solemnly do swear to you indeed that I shall never again doubt our brotherhood, nor shall I ever listen to this fiend. Together, now and always. Megara, I have this. Well, glad that's Give sheet. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, okay. He picked the worst time to do his big spin attack. Okay, we got Ares. That's a bit of an annoying god for him to pull. Um, he really fills up the screen. We are likely to lose a life here. Oh god! 
But at least we took down Theseus already. Okay, yeah, yeah, there it is, there it is. But surely we won't lose another life. We're getting some clutch dodge procs. It's only a 10% chance. Alright. Finish off that fight nice and cleanly. Alright, take the Ambrosia, take the gems. Make sure to say hello to our favorite little shade, the little Zagreus fan. You gotta know that shade's getting harassed constantly by the others. Oops. Oops. <laughs> okay, nothing of note in the well. We will take the broken spear point. So it's real handy to deal with all those pesky rats in this world. Okay, coming up into sticks. What have we got? What have we got? Okay, we've got Aphrodite. We've got a pomegranate. Oh, I do hear a fish, though. Let's try it. Let's catch this fish before we go off. So we'll go to Aphrodite first. What we're hoping for is Sweet Surrender. If we can get, like, a rare or epic Sweet Surrender, that's really going to boost us. Oh man, I am not fond of the special without exploding launcher. And you see, it doesn't even feel worth it to do the Poseidon on it because it can pull them back into you. Alright, do we get Sweet Surrender? We don't it looks like parting shot we don't want that there we go epic sweet surrender that's perfect actually good 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 okay let's uh let's pop this hammer breaching skewer and triple jab i see not quite good but it's it's, it's okay it's okay i guess So we don't have that flaring spin anymore. We do cover more range. More range with our normal attacks, that is. Appreciate the early, early sack. Level seven sweet surrender. That's so funny. 
And we don't have any gold to do anything else, so let's go on into the Hades fight. Alright, let's get into this. Breaching Skewer isn't really going to help us here, except when he summons the guys in the first stage, but... Okay, dude. <laughs> All right, cleared up the battlefield a little bit. This is a per you know, this run, it was, it's okay. It's okay. This build is kind of a simple one. Like, anyone could really use this and do it all right. There's not, nothing really special to leverage. Alright, and that was the last of the armored enemies we'll even face, so, uh, <laughs> that's good. Good to know that Breaching Skewer no longer even serves a purpose for us. <laughs> Positive Outlook is being popped, though. Uh, okay, I don't have to. I can just stand to your back. Okay, he's being kind of aggressive right now. Usually we like it when he does his, uh, let's call them passive moves. Like when he does the laser and the pot summon, he leaves himself vulnerable for a really long time. You see like right there, he's just sitting there and we can just wail on him for free. Gotta make sure that rupture is in effect. Man, we have some massive, massive fucking, uh... Oh, uh, okay, he tried to do the laser, but he immediately died. But you know, it was a death sentence for him either way, but... All right. So we makes an effort to communicate with one. Its eyes are full of calm intelligence. Bears. The bears are not as gentle as they seem. They look so cuddly, but they just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 